That mile-wide smile on nine-year-old Lucy Tidd's face has eased a lot of heartache. You know, all I have to do is look into, you know, that face and know that I didn't lose anyone and that I'd rather have, no matter what, I'd rather have this person next to me than anything else. That person used to be Benjamin Thomas Tidd, the oldest of Mark and Bridget's three sons. Eighteen months ago, with support from the gender clinic at the Barbara Bush Children's Hospital at Maine Medical Center, Lucy, who is still too young for any kind of medical intervention, began the journey that would allow her to become the person she's always been on the inside. Well, my mom and dad, they, um, they've just helped me through a long journey, and they've helped a lot. Just a few years ago, the gender clinic had a handful of children as patients. Today, that number is around 100. Doctors say society's growing awareness has opened the door to more parents coming forward for guidance for themselves and for their children who are questioning their gender identity. To be transgendered has nothing to do with getting surgery, has nothing to do with getting hormones, has nothing to do with how you look. It's how you identify yourself, period. Lucy's truth dawned on Bridget and Mark Tidd slowly. It started with a desire to dress up in girls' clothing, to paint her fingernails, to dance around the house. Eventually, there were signs that this wasn't just a phase. She had actually written in a, um, a little journal that she got from the Scholastic Book Fair, and I discovered it, and it said, I want to be a girl so bad. I love you, Benji. You look absolutely great. I thought the best way to work with a child is indirectly to say, hey, do you want to be a girl? Do you want to be a boy? And go through it. It was more of through picture draw. I'd written at the top, you know, when are you the happiest? And she drew a picture of herself completely as a girl, with the long hair and the dress. And then I said, when are you the saddest? And she drew a picture of herself as a boy. By second grade, play acting around the house wasn't enough. Benji began acting out, lying, getting into trouble at school, having severe tantrums. And I said to her, you know, I don't like to see you this sad. It breaks mommy's heart and I want to help. How can I help? And she's just like, some days I just wish I could die and God could bring me back as a girl. Mark and Bridget didn't need any more convincing. In September of 2014, Lucy Tidd walked into Lysath Elementary School for the first time as Lucy. I don't know of any other human being on this planet that is brave as my nine-year-old daughter. I don't. Yeah. It didn't take long for her friends, all of those little girls on the playground, to accept the change. I had tears in my eyes and I was like trusting that the rest of the day was going to be okay and I let her go and I, at that moment she was completely free and we've never turned back. Do you ever miss Benji? Uh, not really. I don't really miss it yeah. a lot. Like, I'll look back in the pictures and, like, all those memories, but it doesn't really make me feel like I want to go back or anything. It hasn't been an easy journey, and there are days when Mark and Bridget miss their little boy, but their faith and family counseling pulls them through. It's, there are days where it, it's harder than others, but more often than not, you know, we, we just get sucked into our normal everyday lives and you just don't think about it. For now, Lucy can just be herself. And like now it's just like, I, I feel like I'm comfortable and I'm safe and I'm, yeah. For her parents, for all those who love her, that's everything. <laughs> <laughs>